Hey guys, I'm back. So I'm sure you're all excited to see the bland white paper background gone go, gone uh, because now I have Hypercam 2 back, so I don't really need to do that. And I'm sure this is going to be interesting. It's the first time I've updated the Particle Accelerator series in a while. I've taken a break from doing that just because the stuff, you know. Anyway, this is the start of building a quadrupole magnet. Now. In case you're wondering what a quadrupole magnet is, I happen to have a sticky note laying around, and it's basically this. You have a magnet, 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 so four poles with the beam pipe in the center. Now it can be opposite. These can be, you know, negatives and positives. I'm sorry, I should be representing this by north, north, south, south, but um, that's what I'm talking about. So you're wondering, how does this, how is one electromagnet going to possibly make four. I'm going to tell you it's not. This is just one of the magnets I'm going to put around the beam pipe. So basically if this is the beam pipe, I'm going to put one magnet like this, right? Pretend that magnet's still there. Another one's going to be like that. Another one on the bottom and another one on the other side, right? So I'm just going to be going into this thing and uh, what it is and some rules that can help you out when building electromagnets for yourself, even if it's just for like a second grade science affair or whatnot. So essentially this magnet has 23, 23 turns on it and it's designed so that this is the negative so you put this to a negative of just a D or C battery and this to the positive. It doesn't quite fit but I, didn't, I just designed it to be used with you know alligator clips. Anyway here, here's the way. Now I'm sure most of you really don't ever use these things uh, to determine north and south. So here's a rule. If you have the current flow, the regular current flow is in positive to negative. So in this case, this would be the positive and this would be the negative. If you wrap your hip with, with your fingers going in the direction of the current flow, so the positive current flow is going to come in here, and if we open the magnet up a bit, With this, you see it's going to flow into this way. So it's going to flow over the top and around the bottom. Okay? So if we put our finger in the direction of our fingers in the direction of the current flow is in over the top, we're going to see that our thumb is going to point towards the north of the magnet. So this should be the north of the magnet, and this will be the south of the magnet. Okay? So and and the current flow is positive to negative. So keep that in mind. So the current flow would be like this. So this tip is going to be our positive. This is going to be our north. This is going to be our south. Okay. So just keep that in mind. If you put your fingers pointing the direction of the conventional current flow, as in positive to negative, you will get um, the thumb. Your thumb will point towards the side of the magnet. So this is pretty simple. This is just one of these regular old nails. It's really easy to build. I'm sure second graders build them for science fair projects all the time. You just get a regular nail. You wind some turns of wire around it, and you tape it all up with some electrical tape. And then you use that right-hand rule to determine which way is north and which way is south. So now in building a quadrupole magnet, I'm going to get four of these, and then stick them around a ring or something like this, which can slip over the particle accelerator thing. There's gonna, then going to be a box with the batteries and controls and whatnot to control the quadrupole. Now I've calculated that with this magnet is 0.6 ohms, okay? Make sure you do this calculation, this calculation is vital. You use Ohm's law to calculate that it would give you 2.5 amps and 3.75 watts. Make sure your battery can handle that. I know D batteries can handle 2.5 amps, but make sure that your battery can handle that. You wouldn't want to use a 9 volt battery because that would give you even more current and 9 volt batteries really can't supply much, okay? So make sure you do that calculation. Also make sure your watts aren't something ridiculously high. You know, 3.75 is pretty decent, but, you know, especially in the world of hobby electronics, but it's fine. So that's really this electromagnet. You basically, you put your fingers, so in this case the current is going over the top, so you're going to put your fingers over the top as well, and curling around the bottom, as you can see. You're just like, and this is going to be your positive, and it's going to be your negative. And then you're going to put your finger, your thumb, you're going to stick out, and it's going to point to the north side. So it's going to be the north side just pointing like the thumb. So if we was going to do it opposite like this, if this was going to be our positive, then we could put our fingers over this way, and this would be the north of the magnet. 
it all depends on which way the current flows. So if your battery, if you were to hook it up like that or like that, reverses the positive and negative of the magnet. So I can't. I don't really have any turn. I, I don't really have any calculations for how many um, Teslas this thing has, but it's not very strong. If if you want to see it, it does lift up a paper clip, which is what most people use it for. If I can find a paper clip, uh huh. Here we go. All right. So you can see I have these ends attached here. Are the other ends I'm going to attach one, the positive to the positive side, hold the negative to the negative side. Voila. And you see when I let go of the negative, when I put it back on, it can hold it up, and then when I let go, it falls off. So, that's how to make it, and how to put it, and uh, other videos on how to put them in a quadruple arrangement will be coming up soon, so. Also, you can put these in a dipole arrangement, a sextipole arrangement, a tripole arrangement. I don't really know what a tripole magnet would do. Would be an interesting experiment for one of you guys, but I'm going to put this on my particle accelerators as a quadruple magnet to demonstrate. I'm not for focusing, as this is probably too imprecise to do focusing, but just to demonstrate how one quadruple magnet focuses on t on um, focuses on one axis and defocuses on the other axis. So that's how I'm going to demonstrate this. Okay? So you all remember that uh, right-hand rule doesn't work with your left hand. At least, it, I don't know, I don't think it does. It's called That's why it's called the right-hand rule. And just have your fingers point in the same direction. Go build yourself some magnets, pick up, pick up some paper clips, and put them on a particle accelerator. Put them on your old TV. I mean, you just take it apart like you've seen in other videos in the series and stick them on pretty easy to make, so I'll give you an update when that's finished. Thanks for watching.